So we're gonna start, guys, with looking at the meeting, which is the triangle. Okay, does everybody see the yellow triangle? Okay, so what, um, I'm gonna give everybody the question after we kind of talk about it. So everybody's gonna have your individual paper so you can work it out yourself and then you guys as a group are gonna come together and figure out what you're gonna put as your group answer, okay? So um, our purpose setting statement here is Joe paid $2.88 for three erasers. So that's kind of the situation we're gonna be looking at the whole class period, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys this so you can go ahead and click on the triangle, click on meeting, and we'll kind of look at it together first like we usually do and kind of talk about what the question's asking, what we need to do, and then you guys will actually do it, all right? Joe paid $2.88 for three erasers. So the question is, what is the cost of each eraser? Before we try to figure out what to do though, I want us to write an equation for this. Okay, so Zach, what do you think? What do you think we're gonna do if we wanna write an equation to figure this out? If you do the inverse operation, you get to, you have to divide, which will get you your answer. Good, so you knew to write a multiplication equation because to get the answer, we're gonna have to divide. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down up here. If you wanna write that down on your paper, you can, because you may or may not wanna use it. It's up to you. So what I want you to do is on your paper, you individually, I want you to figure this out, what the cost for each eraser is, okay? And once you guys kind of get it, you can start talking and make sure you all are on the same page, help each other out if you need to, and then you can choose whatever you wanna do for your canvas on the iPad and then show that on your canvas and then go ahead and put your answer in, okay? That's we gotta divide two dollars and eighty-eight cents by three. That's how you get point nine six. We use talk about this one and list the things that we would need to put in. So remember, when you have your work and you click your letter, just go ahead and click "I'm finished" so I can see what you've done. And then now you have to explain the steps you used. All right, Aiden. So what did you do to figure out that A was the answer? I multiplied by. By three. Okay, but how did you know that these weren't the answer? I multiplied them by three and they all turned out to be wrong. Okay, so they didn't turn out to be the $2.88. Good. Nice. Did everybody solve it that way? Okay, so you all just divided to get your answer. Very cool. When I'm looking at all your work, everybody's canvas, everybody's answer is that each eraser costs 96 cents. Okay, and um, we're gonna go, we're gonna kind of look at your work and everybody's different work and kind of see what you did. As I was walking around, I saw a lot of, you guys wrote the equation and solved it, and that's really great. And then I saw a couple different things too. So I'm gonna get some of y'all to explain what you did so everybody else can see it. So this is Riley's group. So this is what you guys did. I see that you wrote the equation from the beginning and then solved it. So um, Aiden, I want you to kind of, Tell, I want you to tell everybody what you did to solve it, because you did it a little bit different, but I like what you did. So will you tell us what you did? I multiplied each answer by three. Okay, why'd you multiply each one by three? Because that's how many erasers are. Very good, so how did you come up with the fact that 96 cents was the right answer? Three times 90, 96 is $2.88. Two Very good, so that was the only one that Math. came out to be the total of $2.88? Good, okay. Most of you wrote the equation first and solved from there. Ethan, I want you and Joey to kind of tell me what you guys did because you didn't write the equation and solve, okay? We divided the answers and they, they did the equation, but we divided it to make sure that 96, that 96 was the right answer. And so we divided so we were divided three by two dollars and eighty-eight cents, and we got ninety-six. Good. So, even though Jemiah and Shadalyn solved it a different way, did you guys all get the same answer? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Right. So everybody arrived at the fact that ninety-six cents was the price per eraser. So what this group said, they said we use the inverse method. Okay. What does inverse mean again? The opposite. The opposite of whatever we have. Okay. So our algebraic equation was 3x equals $2.88. 
We put the wall around the equal sign and we found the inverse as division. Finally, we got 96 cents. Very good. So they just took their method, whatever they did, and they put it in writing. What do we need to include in our explanation to make sure that we're putting everything we need in our explanation? The problem. Okay, what the problem is. So we need to state the problem. And if you think back to what Kaylee's group wrote, they wrote, this is the equation that we used. So they had that in there from the beginning. All right, Chloe, what do we need to include? What else? Vocabulary. Okay, math vocabulary. Why is that important? Because when we, like, if we use it and they, we don't know what we're talking, they don't know what we're talking about. Very good, we need to be specific. So we're gonna put the method that we solved it. All right, what are we leaving out? The most important thing that we have to have in our explanation. The answer? The answer, we have to have the solution. So we wanna make sure we add that in there.